Yes, lads. Tom here, back from the video. We've got episode nine of the Everton career mode today. We've got four more games, and we've got three of them in the Premier League to try and keep up the first position in the Premier League. Obviously, we've only lost three games this season, so we're going to try and keep that for the next 12 games of the season. And we do start with the first game of the episode. We have got Manchester City. But as we see, they're seven points behind us. So if we if we beat Man City, we go 10 points clear of the citizens. That is ridiculous, that is. That is so unrealistic. I don't know what's going on. It's ultimate difficulty. I definitely need to adjust the sliders at some point and change just about everything with the sliders because it's far too easy at the moment. But um, uh, yeah, we're going to start with the first press conference. We're just going to do the press conference before the City game to Thank try and make it we'll a little bit now. more like a real match day. See if we can get some responses from our team in the first thing I press. I missed, it was just a, a miss input. And um, I didn't mean to press it. I nearly did it again then, to be fair. I always go bottom right, and I just didn't see what I was doing. So I nearly made a cock of that, but we still got the morale up of the team before the game, and we got it nearly maximum, so I wasn't too bothered, really. We are very happy at the moment, so I can't really complain about that, and we're doing really, really well in terms of the morality okay, guys, and our manager right rating now. at 99. Thanks but we'll start with the first game of the episode. As I say, we have got Manchester City, and uh, we are at Goodison Park for the first game. And this is a really, really big game. The chase for the top four is alive. Very much so indeed. There's about seven or eight teams who can get first place this season. So we'll see our team very quickly. Pickford starts in goal. Got back four of Seamus Coleman as the captain. Ben Godfrey and Dicker and Michaelenko. Midfield three of Alan, Renato Sanchez and Deli Ali. Then the forward line of Richarlison, Damari Gray and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. So we're also going to have a look at Man City's team. Ryan Kent on the bench, of course, the same as DeCorey. Manchester City's team. Edison starts in goal this time. Back four of Cancelo, Egan Riley, Laporte and Diaz as left back. What the fuck? De Bruyne and Rodri and Bernardo Silva as a midfield three. Pretty much like real life. And the forward line of Raheem Sterling, Raul Jimenez and Riyad Mahrez. So uh, no Phil Foden, which is weird. No Stones, no Adeyemi. You know, it just is what it is. It's FIFA, isn't it? Don't think too much about it. Just try and enjoy whatever you can with this god-awful game. But straight from kickoff, they give away the ball. Rodri giving away the ball with a sloppy pass. Now Richarlison playing the ball through to Deli Alley. Now he's trying to get the ball past the man. He plays the shot, and that's a fantastic save by Edison. I said fantastic with, like, three more syllables there than I should have done, but it was a great save by Edison Moraes, non nonetheless. So we do get the corner. We're looking for Calvert-Lewin. He wins the header, and it's straight past Edison. 1-0 already. That is fantastic. What a ball in that was by... Richarly dad and Calvert Lewin with a wonderful header again. To just I don't even know how many goals he's got. I think he's got 23 now. Absolutely nuts return. From a proven goal scorer. A nice fantastic. Really, really good. We are indeed 1-0 up. So 11 minutes now. Manchester City come on the attack. Rodri and Sterling playing the ball around really nicely. Jimenez plays the ball back to Bernardo Silva. What a goal that is. I don't even know what to say about it. That's just fantastic, that is. They make it one all with a wonderful goal and strike by Bernardo Silva. It's just sweet. Sweet, sumptuous, and sexual. Maybe wait, maybe actually I'll drop that bit because I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna get like bollocked off YouTube for for very strange language. But then again, it's not made for kids, so I warned you. But uh, we do get the kickoff. Michael Enko plays the ball to Demario Gray, goes straight past Cancelo, straight past Laporte. Now he's through on goal already, straight after the restart, and he hits it straight at Edison. Cancelo wakes up and he just sees images of Damari Gray running down the line against him. Damari Gray's been wonderful so far. We do get the corner though, and then Edison makes a good save to keep the score at 1 1. So 35 minutes out, Damari Gray running down the wing again, gets past Cancelo yet again. He's running at speed, plays it back to Calvert Lewin, and that looks like a foul, but now Richardson's got the ball. Plays it back out towards his man. He's looking for the pass. Damari Gray with a first time shot on the turn, and he makes it two goals to one. That is wonderful, that is. Damari Gray. I know I didn't sign him, but what a signing he's been. He is absolutely exceptional. What a goal that was. Richarlis' dad did really well there. Playing the ball back to Damari Gray, and that's a wonderful finish on the weak foot to make it 2-1. So 45 minutes now, Alan coming forward with the ball, looking for Calvert-Lewin, who gets past his man. Easy chance for Calvert-Lewin, and he's hit it straight at Edison yet again. What is he doing? He's got to be scoring that. That's a really, really... I mean, for Calvert-Lewin, it's a really easy chance. But we do get a corner. We aim it towards Calvert-Lewin. And that's really, really strange animations as the players bump into each other. 
and we do indeed get another corner. Is that nearly floated into the bottom corner? I thought it did originally. That's where the icon had it. But we do get another corner. We go for Calvert-Loom. We play it towards him, but Egan Bailey, whoever the fuck he is, clears the ball away. And that is half time. So that's all she wrote. This is my new favourite saying for the first half. Very, very good first half. Very fast-paced and action-packed. So um, not a bad result. I say not a bad result. 2-1 against Manchester City with Everton. The biggest club in Manchester against the biggest club in Merseyside. So, um, yeah, 2-1 at half-time. Really good first half. Then we Man City come again, don't they? In the 54th minute, De Bruyne playing the through ball towards Raul Jimenez. who pulls the ball back straight back to De Bruyne. And that, again, is just such good football. This is why they play Raul Jimenez. They don't need a 30-goal-a-season striker anymore. Jimenez is exceptional, and his little headband's really nice that they've done that in-game, but... It's weird to see him play, but you can just you can tell why they do it because he holds up the ball so well. And against the bigger defenders like Endicca and Ben Godfrey, he's just so so good against him. But yeah, De Bruyne just score and we are indeed level against the citizens. So we do restart the second half. Calvert Lewin playing the ball out wide to Damari Gray, who does a little bit of a skill, gets past Cancelo, gets past Egan Riley. He's through already straight from kickoff, and he's made it 3-2 straight from kickoff. What am I seeing? Damari Gray's been absolutely exceptional. Cancelo is literally having nightmares about him. Honestly, every time Cancelo shuts his eyes, he just sees Damari Gray. Every time he wakes up, he sees Damari Gray. Every time he's brushing his teeth, he sees Damari Gray in the reflection. It's horrible to play against by the looks of it, but we are indeed 3-2 up. And then again, Damari Gray gets past Cancelo. Now he's up against Laporte, who tackles him, but he gives him the ball back. Damari Gray with another chance to make it 4 but Edison makes a good save. Honestly, Damari Gray's on fire. Wonderful, wonderful play again. And a good save by Edison. So uh, we're going to pick up the 92nd minute now. Damari Gray picks up the ball left again. It's Michaelenko. So he's, he's got Cancelo to beat it again. And Laporte gets past them both. And he makes it fall against Manchester City. My voice is going because I don't know what to say. This is ridiculous. How good is Damari Gray on the ball? I, I know I've bought Ryan Kent. And I want to buy a few players in the summer, like potentially Moussa Diabe from Bayern Leverkusen. But Damari Gray's in some form. I don't think I can. He reminds me so much of Henry Meller from the Fulham career mode. And that is the biggest compliment I can give him. He was an absolute world beater through most of that career mode. And he's got his 10th goal of the season in 22 matches. He's still young on this. He's about 25, I think. Uh, and about 25 in real life, obviously. But that is wonderful by Damari Gray. Really, really well played. Got a hat-trick. He walks off with a match ball. And I, I can't believe it. I really, really can't believe it. This is this is phenomenal. Damari Gray, look how happy he is. And you can't blame him, really. He gets the match ball for the first time in his very short career. Well, I say very short. He's been around since he was about 16, so he's had nearly a 10-year career. But as you can see from the match facts, we deserved it. We outplayed Manchester City at, the, at Goodison Park and... It was a really, really good team performance. And Dicker and Godfrey were both really, really good. To say they only got a 6 rating and 6.2, so that's a bit stupid. They played better than that. Michaelenko were good. Sanchez was very, very good, as usual, in the midfield role. Distributing the ball really, really well. But Damari Gray, the greatest... Haha, <laughs> Gray's a banter pun. The greatest player in the Premier League, Damari Gray. That was wonderful. Wonderful from him that game. So uh, City played that Egan Riley. He's like 60-something rated. It's very strange, but Cancelo was really not on form today. 4.5. No tackles against Demario Gray. He literally gave him nightmares. Like That is a that is the best version of Cancelo we'll probably ever see. 88 rated. And Demari Gray was unbelievable against him. Really, really good. Really good result, though, as I say. And... Roll on the next game, that's all I can say. I know we've got a cup game coming up against Brighton. But this performance and result was magnificent. This is against the best team in England, on par with Liverpool of how good they are. And uh, I was surprised by the victory, as the game's asking me. It was a very nice surprise indeed to beat a team you, who are this compact and play together all the time and have won Premier Leagues. So uh, we do indeed win the game and we go straight into the... Second game of the episode. This time we are at the Amex State. Oh, no, we're not. They're at Goodison Park again. I got a bit confused and got a bit ahead of myself. But we are at Goodison Park for round five of the FA Cup. I thought about simulating this game. End of the day, I thought I'll just leave it. 
So Begovic starts in goal. Back four of John Joe Kenny, Holgate, Mina and Callum Styles. Midfield three of Alan Decore and Andre Gomez. And then Ryan Ken is the attacking midfielder along with Rondon and Josh Holloway leading the line. So very strong, well, very strong team, very strong cup team. And uh, we'll get started with the first half of the game. 35 minutes in, it's a very boring game, by the way. Lamps plays the ball back, Caicedo picks it up. Good ball into McAllister. But Begovic does well to save low. And we decide to play it out. And uh, that was the first half, honestly. This is like one of them classic games where fuck all happens. And it's just it just is what it is. We have to roll with the punches. So, um, boring first half. But 7-12 minutes in, they do get another chance. McAllister plays the ball back to Callum hudson Adoy, who chips it in towards Moda. And then Begovic is forced into a good save. And then Mina makes another good challenge on hudson Adoy. So, just before, just before the full-time whistle as well, Leandro Trossard's coming down the wing. He's looking for the pass inside. Great ball towards McAllister yet again. He plays it back to Villalbre. And what a save that is by Begovic. He tips it onto the post. That is ridiculous goalkeeping by the Bosnian. We're living his Stoke City days and his previous Chelsea and Portsmouth years. But yeah, they have got a corner. They are going to take it. They look in front post. We do clear it out eventually. And um, that is the full-time whistle. So it's a cup game now. FA Cup after the fifth round, fourth round, sorry. They go straight onto the extra time phase and skip out the replay. So it's going to be really stressful to actually do anything in this game with the sub team. We've not got a lot on the bench. And we will restart in the 108th minute. We skip half time. Trossard gets a chance, plays it towards Villalbre. And we're 1 0 down. We literally skipped extra time, half time because nothing was happening. But that was a great finish by Villalbre to make them 1 0 up. Uh, take them to uh, 1 0 up, sorry. And he's come off the bench. He's made a massive dish different Asia Villalbre from Athletic Bilbao. But yeah, we are 1-0 down. Gets even worse later on. hudson Adoy against Callum Styles. hudson Adoy just turns him so easily. So difficult to read. And the former Chelsea wide man plays it middle to Caicedo. Who plays it back. We tackle them, but Villalbre gets the ball back. He makes it too. He punishes us for awful defending. And that is the end of the game. Very, very disappointed. Like 120 minutes added on, and we do get a, a little chance, I guess. We play it back to Calvert Lewin, back into Kent. Easy pass, squares it to Cat Towns, and who hits it wide from two yards out, two yards away, and that is a woeful miss. That sums up this game. Nothing was created, nothing was done, and uh, it was a nothing game, really. I'm not bothered about the FA Cup. I want to get Champions League, or at least Europa League in the first season. But Asia Valalbre, I've never seen what he looks like, I've only seen him on Football Manager before. He's an absolute baller after a few years. But yeah, he dominated us all game. Begovic had a decent game. Sanchez was good for them. He'd be a nice backup keeper, to be honest with you. Or first choice, even if Pickford's a bit dodgy for a few games. And um, yeah, we I mean, we bought in Kent to change the fortunes of the, sub t of the cup team, but it's not really happened. And really, really disappointing cup result. But yeah, straight after that, we are going to go into the third game. Just going to let you know. Uh, I don't fancy waiting around and going into the menus and everything. We have got Tottenham Hotspur this time. And it's a very, very difficult away encounter in the Premier League. And Spurs, I believe, are in the top six as well. So it's going to be even harder. We'll see our team very briefly. Pickford starts in goal. We've got a back four of Seamus Coleman as the captain, Ben Godfrey, Evan Indicker and Vitaly Michalenko. Midfield three has, as always, Sanchez, Allen and Ali. And the forward line of the informed Damari Gray, Rich Charlie Dad and DCL. So... Very strong team yet again. Pretty much the go-to team. Coleman's been really good this season. And Pickford delivers a team talk. So the first half of the game's going to come in the 20th minute. Emerson Royale, overrated and shit is what I say. Uh, plays the ball towards Harry Kane, who gets tackled, gets the ball back. It's a first-time shot into the top corner of the goal. Fuck off, Harry Kane. You, I mean, I say he can't do that in real life, but I know he can. I really do know he can, because I think he's a baller. But it's just so disappointing. And I, I did really well defending that. And he got ricochet after ricochet. And it was just it was just one of them goals you have to concede sometimes. So just for half time now, Kane, Kane plays the ball towards Son. Benton Cole with the effort. Comes back out. Kane picks it up yet again, looking for the pass to Son. Who hits one first time. And Pickford saves it as Conte watches on. Frustrated about the miss from Hung Son. He probably scored that in real life. They do get a corner. Son run down the line, gets past his man, but. Uh, I believe it's Deli Ali or Damari Gray's there to uh, block the ball. Another corner, plays it front post, and this time Pickford claims it. And that's the end of the first half. Very, very boring first half, especially with my commentary over the top. Nothing really happened. And um, yeah, 
really, really shit. Really poor attacking wise from us. But we do indeed start with the second half and the, the first highlight in the 52nd minute comes to us as Alan flicks on the header towards Dele Alli against his former club. Renato Sanchez gets a shot block, but Richarlison with composure plays it towards Renato Sanchez and Dominic Calvert-Lewin punishes Tottenham for sloppy marking. Why would you not mark the top score in the Premier League? He does the Jesus celebration because a reminder on the channel, we hate Jesus on FIFA. He's an absolute prick. He celebrates every celebration the same. He always scores against you. But... Off topic, off track. It was a great goal, great team pass. Renato Sanchez with another assist. And Calvert-Lewin punished Tottenham for sloppy defending. So 75 minutes now. Harry Kane plays a wonderful ball through to Son. He's through on goal. Pickford makes the block and save. It's good defending, to be fair, by Coleman. And Son gets the bicycle kick. But this time, Pickford makes the save. Son is booked for a previous challenge. But that block from Coleman originally was really, really good. Quite a lot of concentration. And obviously Pickford made a good save from the follow-up. Do get a corner though. Hung Min Son looking in the middle towards a man. And Pickford claims really comfortably. So just before full-time now. Renato Sanchez plays the ball to Richarlison. He plays the ball first time to Calvert-Lewin. Who really should score. It was easier to miss than, uh, yeah, easier to miss than score. But Lloris made the save. We do get a corner though. Richarlison looking in the middle for DCL. Who goes up for the header. And this time Romero clears it away. It comes back out to Allen. And as we head it. That is the end of the game. So not a bad game of football, I guess. We've got a draw against Tottenham. But sometimes it feels like a defeat because they're not amazing. They're just they're just a so-so team. They're sort of middle of the pack like us, but we'll have a look at the quick match stats at the end of the game. Tottenham outplayed us off the park in terms of passes and possession. They expect the goals. More for us, really, I guess. They had 1.3 expected goals, but Harry Kane's was like, it's not even expected goal, I don't think. I think it's like 0.1. It was a very, very weird goal. But uh, Pickford's had a good game, nonetheless. Larice wasn't bad for them. And um, the midfield, I mean, Sanchez is really, really good. He's been such a good sign. He's gone up three overalls as well with the dynamic potential system they've got in. And it's just a, a decent a decent result against a, a fairly informed Spurs for Spurs' standards anyway nowadays. Uh, Watford and Arsenal are yet to play it, but we're going to the press conference anyway just to try and balance out the play of the game. You're going to ask us some stupid questions. Your team responded really well after the break. Of course we did. That's why we drew. Like the, They were really, really good the second half. We deserved it in the second half, but the first half was just a bit poor. Um, they're asking us about if we'd have beaten Tottenham, where would we be? Top of the league. That's where we are. That is what we do. We're top of the league for a reason. We've not got lucky. We play an ultimate difficulty with a bang average team and a bang average setup. Yet we're still top of the league. So it's pretty much down to the players and the AI and some part of me. But, um, I mean, that, that's all that's all we're going to get out of that one. So as, as the quick cut implies, we're going to go straight into the final game of the episode. Not much to really see off screen this episode. You don't always have to, I guess. You're more interested in games. But we have got Wolverhampton Wanderers at Goodison. Yet again, the third Goodison game of the episode. As I say, against Wolverhampton Wanderers. We're going to have a quick look at the teams as well. Pickford starts in goal, as always. Back four, Seamus Coleman, Mason Holgate, Evan and Dicker and Callum Styles. Midfield three of Decore, Sanchez and Ali. And the forward line of Ryan Kent. Ryan Kent. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm going to get in trouble for that. And Calvert-Lewin and Richarlison. Oh, I've just thought, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not. I'm going to leave it. I'm not bothered. I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. They're not monetized anyway. I'm just going to get in trouble for swearing. Um, but yeah, straight from kickoff, I give away the ball. Straight towards Pedro Neto. They're playing. They're trying to play the ball about a little bit. But imagine Dendonka trying to outrun Renato Sanchez. What a plonker. So we're uh, three minutes still. Calvert-Lewin plays the ball out wide to Kent. We're looking for the ball in the middle. Plays it towards back. Sick Richarlison with the header. Past Jose Sarr. And that is wonderful. By Richarlison dad. Richarlison nan. Richarlison mum. Richarlison. Wonderful goal. Look at him celebrating there. What a... T I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. What a twat he is. He is in here. I can't help myself. I like Richarlison, but that is a really horrible celebration to do. Got it really well, though. And put us one goal to the good. So we'll pick back up in the 12th minute. Dele Alli looking for the pass. Plays the ball out wide to Richarlison. Fast passing now. Good through ball. Straight towards calvert Looney. Going to dink the keeper. Jose Sarr. Beaten. All ends up. And we're 2-0 uh, up already against this Wolves side. Well, I think they're teetering towards the bottom of the table, so 
Not a bad start at all. Calvert-Lewin, as I say, with a wonderful finish. And we're already two goals up, so... We'll pick back up in the 27th minute. Richarlison playing the ball around beautifully with Calvert-Lewin. Dan Alley picks up the ball. He's got a little chance here. He's got a chance away. It's a good save by Jose. So I said chance a bit too much then, didn't I? But, I mean, the, gin the ginger goalkeeper makes a good save. We play it towards Calvert-Lewin yet again. Marcel clears it this time. And that is all we get for the first half. So 2-0 at half-time. Not a bad first half. And we'll pick back up in the 64th minute. So Ryan Kent steaming down the line. Gets away from Mbolo. Now Neves. And then Kilman comes across. He ball rolls him. That is wonderful. Finds Deli Ali, who turns the ball towards Calvert-Lewin. 3-0 now. 66 minutes in. And the game is all but sealed. Dead and buried unless Wolves get one in the next 10-15 minutes. That was really, really good play. Ryan Kent making a run, similar to Messi against Mallorca or Maradona against England. Yeah, he didn't score. He's unselfish and we got a goal through Calvert-Lewin. So 74 minutes now. Calvert-Lewin looking for the through ball. Deli Ali's played through. Gets away from the old man, Connor Cody. Look how slow he is. As Saar makes another good save. Jesus, Connor Cody, how slow are you? Really, really weird that. We do play the ball though towards Calvert-Lewin again. He unfortunately doesn't win the header. It comes out to Decore. Plays the ball back towards Renato Sanchez. Looking for the first time effort now. Deli Ali falls another good save from Jose Saar. He's really ginger, isn't he? Jesus, if I remember getting that dyed. Then again, he does have a really nice beard, though. I'm a bit jealous of that beard in real life. He's got a lovely beard. But um, right at the end of the game now, five minutes left. Pedro Neto picks up the ball, looks for the through ball towards Mbolo, who turns the ball back to Juanqui Chan. I swear he's offside, you know. This official can't see anything by looks for it because he's just—he's literally gone behind the man and he's played the ball forward. But you know, I'm—I'm I'm, I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to get too wet up about it. We're—we're uh, we're still three one up, so it doesn't really matter. Straight from kickoff, Del Ali does a bit of showboating. Rainbow flicks the player, gets tackled immediately afterwards. Wanky Chan's first goal of the season, by the way. Pedro Neto now plays the through ball, looking for the ball back to Wanky Chan again. Back towards Neto. Wanky Chan again got a little chance on goal, and Pickford concedes. And now it's 3 2. He picks up the ball. He's only got two pissing goals this season there in the last two minutes. Ridiculous. Pickford should really do better there, but we have. Giving away the ball yet again from kickoff. Come on, let's not let's not do this. Fortunately for us, the heart well, sorry, the full time whistle goes. And we get away with one there. That was shocking that last five minutes. Absolutely shocking. Wow. That was really, really poor. Uh, we deserved the game on the balance of play, but the last five minutes is one of the worst I've seen. It's like watching real life. Everton defending like a bunch of donkeys. Shame there's no Michael Keane this time. It's actually a decent defender in Endicker. But yeah. Jose Sarr was really, 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 really good. Said really again. Too many times. Change of vocabulary. But yeah, a very, very good game from Jose Sarr. Cavett Lewin got two goals again. Richardson got a goal and an assist. And Deli Ali also got an assist. As well as Ryan Kent, who had his, probably his best game in the blue of Everton so far. So he did really well. And we're pretty much at the end of the episode now. We've got about a minute and a half left. So um, we'll have a look at the table, as always. See Cavett Lewin's development plan at the moment. What rating? 85 rating. I need to slow these down. But that's not the stats of an 85 striker, is it? Very, very strange stats. Mitrovic looked an absolute worldy with his stats. But that's the last league table of the end of the episode. We are still nine points clear of United, but Liverpool have got two games in hand. If they win both of theirs, they'll go six points behind. Same as United and um, Aston Villa and City are falling a little bit away of the curb. Quick look at the top scorers as well. Calvert-Lewin's on 26 now. Could he eclipse the 32 record record goals in a season? Vardy's on 18, which is unrealistic because he doesn't even play in real life. He's an old man nowadays. Jamie Vardy, bless him. Richardson's on 14 assists. Can he make it 20? Ali's on 12. Calvert-Lewin is on 10. Then Pickford still remains on nine clean sheets. Lloris will win that, no doubt. And um, quick look at the next episode. So we've got a away game at Vicarage Road against Watford. Away game at Upton Park. No, sorry, London Stadium against West Ham United. A home game against Manchester United and then a home game against Palace and potentially a away game against Liverpool. I'm not really sure yet. I'll see what happens in that one because I'm not sure if I want to play it. We might stick to the four sort of episode routine we usually do. Just try and space it out a little bit. But that's all I've got today. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you very much.